Hey friends, it's Jesse. I'm back with my friend Alicia. We just shot a blind sniff uh, video. And now, because you have how many perfumes? Basically one. Basically one. Um, she said, hey, let's pick out a new one. So I kind of got a wide variety because her one fragrance is... Coco Mademoiselle. By Chanel. And that is kind of a hard one because it's so heavy in the patchouli. And I don't have a ton of patchouli fragrances, but I picked out however many this is, that I wanted her to try and sniff. Um, got some Tom Fords in here that she wanted to smell. Let's start with this one. And if you hate it, just say it's not my favorite, okay? <laughs> I feel Which bad. is your favorite of these? Oh, I don't know, it'd be hard to pick one. Okay, so this is Tom Ford White Suede. Does it stay on? You can smell the cat. Yes, so all these are long lasting. That is her main request. And honestly, that's probably my main request of a fragrance. Um, if I ever made a fragrance, I would have to have it stay on for a long time. So I like this. It reminds me of a good work mm -hmm. scent. Yeah. Like during the day. Mm -hmm. Yes. I love wearing that. Okay. Obviously. I do love this. Half the bottle is gone. I have to, I'm going to, I, I want to pick a new one today. Like I want okay. one to, All right. I want one to These are some purchase. Good so. ones. Okay. This is Navitas Parfums Exalt and Wee. And this one is like not a fruity floral. This one is boozy. Musky, yeah. It's boozy. It's heavier. It stays. I love it. Um, I don't know that it's one that you would be this excited might be about wearing too heavy for, for, for spring, summer. Yeah. 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 And it's probably perfectly unisex, like not mm -hmm. maybe a little bit more masculine, but I love boozy fragrances. So that's my job. I can see this smelling really good on you. I love it. It kind of fits your personality. I love it. Very boozy. Okay, <laughs> next up is Mongerlan. This is the, mm, what is it, Intense? Yes, Intense version. I knew it wasn't, it's it's Eau de Parfum, but it's the Intense version. And so that, I think, smells kind of in the same direction. I do like this. As, like, Coco Mademoiselle, like, as far as how heavy it is and lasting all day. And I all feel that. like this would be a good year-round. Mm -hmm. Like, you could wear it in the spring, summer, fall, winter, mm -hmm. like, and it's hard to do these blind sniff or these sniff videos because the fragrance does change, you know, as it goes through. So it'll have top notes where it'll have like lemon and bergamot. A lot of it's your citruses. And that's really just to cover up the smell of the alcohol because fragrance has alcohol in it, um, like mm. rubbing alcohol. And then as it dries down, then the mid and the base come. And while we are talking about it, like I always say, Straight on your skin, wait 30 minutes, like walk around the mall, do whatever, and then come back and like smell it and say, decide if you still like it. Because like I said, the top notes are probably not still gonna be there in 30 minutes. Have you ever smelled black orchid? No. Oh my gosh, okay. Like one that you may smell, and that's not even dry on the... Oh, on the I love that. It's different, it's really different. I, a girl passed me in an office supply store wearing black orchid and it stopped me and I tried. I was like, you smell so good. And I knew what it was, but I just thought, oh. This is a good all all year. Mm -hmm. And it's heavy. I mean, it, it'll last. But it's soft, but it's heavy. Mm -hmm. Like it, you kind of get both of them. I love it. I, like, I feel like you could wear this to work, to the beach, to dinner. Like It has a lot of notes in it, so it does make it more, I don't know. Appropriate for different Do you like my ranking selections. system? Yes, I love that. That's <laughs> perfect. Like first, middle, last. Okay, this is Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. And this is one of my favorite coconut fragrances. Oh, I'm going to love this probably. Mm -hmm. The only thing is this one doesn't last as long as say Black Orchid. Just because Black Orchid is a really heavy hitter. So, but it's really pretty. I have some other coconut ones you should smell too. Oh, that is good. Hmm. Oh, Okay. I like that. Okay. All oh, right. Am I moving my shit? Yes, I hands? love it. That's perfect. <laughs> well, you've got to remember like what you like. Okay, this is Mon Perry by YSL. It's getting really smelly in here. It is in a good way, but a lot of there's a lot of scents going on. Um, I just got this oh, I love gifted this. to me. I love it too. Does it stay on? Mm hmm Yeah, I love this. Mm hmm This it's, is perfection for summer yes it's fruity floral it is i love the bottle like the little bow they do have several flankers for this one and they'll have different bow designs so if you go to ulta or sephora you'll have to like smell like everyone all the needs ones. this for summer everyone needs that for summer they i do. completely agree it's the easiest you can wear it to work you can wear it on vacation yeah. 
date night. I it's think spring. my husband would like this one because he likes more softer scents. Mm -hmm. He doesn't like really strong. Crazy. I know. Tom Ford Black Orchid. Okay. This one is also a fruity fragrance. This is by Zerjoff. Oh, I love that too. This is Herba Pura. Um, I love their packaging. They always have the coolest caps and um, this is probably the longest lasting Zerjoff in my collection. Um, which is why I let you smell it today because I wanted you to smell something that lasts. I love that too. But it's fruity. Mm-hmm. And it's I'm, sweet. This is too many. I'm loving too many. I know, many. I know. And it's crazy because there's a, I can't remember what his name is. I feel like his name's Max, but somebody else that reviews fragrances out of Miami and he says that that is his number one best-selling fragrance for men in his like perfume boutique. And wow, you'd have to be a pretty masculine yeah. man to go, I'll wear something yeah. that fruity. Oh, that's just in my mind. That's what I always thought. Okay, let's, let's get him down. We've got, down. We've got yeah, two, two more. more. Mm -hmm. And then, okay. oh, sorry. I don't want to mess up your mess up my spacing. All right. Whoo. We're going to smell, we're gonna smell so good the rest of the There's a lot of perfume in here. A lot of perfume. I love the atomizer. So this is by Parfums <sighs> to Marley. This is Sedbury, and it's a little bit fruity. It's a little bit floral. Um, well, Does it stay it's really, on? It's really floral. Um, yes, it lasts, and I love it. it's one of the ones that I love for spring, summer, so I thought I'd give it to you. I love it, but smell. I think... You uh, like the others? Yeah, more. I think okay. I would put those above it, but this one is great. Okay, and lastly, we have Roses Vanille by Mancera, which I think is a staple for everyone's fragrance collection. Um... This is technically unisex. I feel like it leans really feminine. Um, it's kind of hard to smell it at this point. <laughs> oh, so much to smell. Um, I it's like roses this. and vanilla. It's, you know, which sounds kind of vanilla, but I like it a lot. And it's just a good staple fragrance. Like, if you have a fragrance collection and mm -hmm. you don't have Mancera Roses Vanilla, you need it in your collection if you're female. Um, again, it is unisex, but I feel like it leans really feminine. I feel like I need to pick a top. Yeah, like top one or two. Definitely this. Okay. I'm the Mon Paribas YSL is the winner, winner, chicken dinner. And I would say this probably. And Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. Oh, two great fragrances. Yeah. I love both of those. Those will be my two purchases for sure. Okay. Well, we'll t I'll take a picture of them so you don't forget what they yeah. are. But yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for stopping by. This Thank has you been for fun. Me. Our boys are besties. And so it's just fun to like get together and smell perfumes. I love it. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell. Give me a like if you like videos with guests on them because I love having guests on here. And what other guest video ideas do you guys have? Do you like the blind sniff? Do you like something more like this where they can actually see the bottles? Drop me a comment below. Thanks so much for watching. Smell you later.